Welcome back to the show. Our next guest will make guys wish they learned how to play the flute in band class. Let me tell you, the flute-wielding, supermodel-looking duo of Natalie Joachim and Allison Loggins Hall called Flutronics have melded a unique blend of R&B, jazz, and electronica over soul beats and their woodwind instruments. I won't believe it, and you won't believe it, so let's, <laughs> let's hear them describe how they came up with their music. Welcome, guys, so much to our show on Arise and Shine. Can you tell us, how did you come up with Flutronics? Um, it was, you know, really interesting um, fusion of, of music that, that we really loved, lots of genres that we really love. Um, and just the name itself was, um, you know, we wanted it to be clear to people that we were flutists, but we were also working with electronics and um, bringing in different styles of music. So, How did you guys meet to form this? Like, what introduced, how did you meet one Well, it's, yeah. it's kind of funny that we hadn't already known each other because we both grew up in the tri-state area. We both have been playing the flute since we were very young, and it's kind of a small world. Like, all, right. all flute players kind of know each other. Right. <laughs> um, but we didn't know each other, and at the time, we were both experimenting with composing, and um, MySpace was really big. This was probably six years ago, mm -hmm. and we both had artist pages. Um, so she had stumbled across my music, and she was like, oh, another, another flute player right. who's kind of experimenting with other genres and doing interesting things, and she reached out to me. And it was very serendipitous, because it turned out we lived in the same neighborhood, Wow. Yeah. We have Amazing. Like mutual friends, right. um, very parallel experiences. So it's very organic coming together. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. we're we love female duos. So you, know, <laughs> yeah. you guys yeah. make magic happen. That's for company. sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I know you guys sometimes get tired of people trying to classify exactly what your genre is. You have so many different influences. Mm -hmm. So you guys have decided to call it urban art pop. Can you explain mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I mean, our music is urban and that you know it has influences from hip hop and R and B. Um, it's artful in that it's really, you know, heavily based in our classical background. We're both classically trained. Um, and it's pop in that, you know, we also have tons of popular influences. One of our uh, most popular songs is a cover that we do of Sweet Dreams by the Eurythmics. So Amazing. Yeah. You know, something you said that was interesting is that you, you said you were classically trained. Yeah. Right? And I know that for many singers, like let's say I studied opera, but for me I found pop to be the thing, but it's hard sometimes for people to transfer from classical to like a pop or a hip hop. Yeah. What would you say to young people, young women mm -hmm. who are aspiring maybe to do that? What is the best training process? Um, really, I think just listening to as much music as possible and as many different influences as you can. Natalie and I both coming up, we've always had um, a very wide appreciation for all sorts of genres, mm -hmm. which I think is pretty evident in our music and you know what brought us together. But I think the best thing you can do to grow as a musician is just um, you know to keep listening, to go to concerts, and to keep keep your palate like very diverse and um, you know take from that. Mm -hmm. So you guys um, both look so young and beautiful, but <laughs> I know that you've been both been playing flute for what twenty years. Yeah. What attracted you to specifically the flute? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We had different stories. Um, <laughs> uh, mine, well, when I was little, um, I, I grew up with a lot of music in the house, and the most influential player I heard was Hubert Laws growing up, um, who's a jazz flutist, and he's also classically trained and has also done other things besides jazz right. and classical music. Um, but I just really fell in love with his sound and his tone, and it just really spoke to me. And, I don't know, just when I heard it, I, I just knew I kind of really wanted to pick it up and I mean, follow, yeah. that <laughs> yeah. follow that destiny. Follow that destiny. Yeah. My story is a little bit um, different. You know, I, I really have an awesome uh, public school system in West Orange, New Jersey to thank for me uh, playing the flute. Um, it was a requirement in fourth grade to choose an <laughs> instrument. And oh, wow. Fantastic. So I sort of chose the flute by chance and it was. Stuck with it. Yeah. It's obviously <laughs> a passion of yours now. Yeah. So um, can you tell us about your Kickstarter, I heard? Yeah. With a Kickstarter, oh, yeah. please. Um, sure. We've actually done two Kickstarter campaigns. Um, the first one was for our first album, and the most recent one for our most recent album, mm -hmm. 2.0. Um, and we set out to raise twenty thousand dollars to um, fund, help fund the project. And um, it was a very, um, very, I, I guess you could say. Well, it was challenging, but it was a really emotional and humbling experience as well because we couldn't believe the amount of support and fans that we had 
from all over the country, all over the globe, and um, even people who could only like contribute five dollars. You know, right. it was just amazing the number of people who wanted to make this project happen. So for us, it was just incredibly humbling, and we did it around the holidays. So it was just like That's super amazing. joyous. Yeah. Yeah. it was a lot of work. Um, she was in Japan at the time, so we were kind of like working 24-7. Yeah. I'd be asleep, she'd be, you know, awake. and That works out um, well. Yeah, so it worked out. But I yeah. think so we're like, here. Yeah, we, the yeah. moment we've all yeah, been waiting we, for. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you guys can step over to our performing area. <laughs> yeah, and I know you guys are going to perform Typewriter off of their latest album, 2.0, that you guys were just telling us about. So much support from all over the world in your Kickstarter campaign for this. We're so excited to hear you guys, so whenever you're ready. Flutronics. If you guys want to know more about Flutronics, go to their website, Flutronics.com. And up next, straight from Art Basel in Miami, Ebony G. Patterson and model humanitarian Magdella Cooper is here to tell us how she's helping in the fight against Ebola. And later, we'll check in with Grandmaster Chess Champion. <laughs> That's a lot of words. We'll show us some moves. Stick around for more Arise and Shine. Thank you guys so much. Thank, Thank you. you. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. <laughs> 